Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk to you about the stress bucket. Now some of you might already know what this is and for those of you who don't, let me go on and just explain. Stress is something that can affect everyone. It doesn't matter how old you are, it doesn't matter what your background is. At some point in your life you might become a little bit stressed and that's fine. For example, some children and young people moving schools, so going from year 6 to year 7, might be quite stressful. It could be that when it comes to exam times, you might feel a little bit stressed and that's okay too. For adults, things like moving house, that could be quite, can be quite stressful. Work, work life balances and juggling family life and trying to get everything done in kind of one day. These are all things that can be quite stressful for everyone. Now sometimes stress can be good for us. It can help us stay motivated. It can help us to reach our goals. However, too much stress in a shorter period of time can actually be quite negative. Now, as I said, stress can be all around us. And if we think about ourselves as a bucket, we can fill up quite quickly. Now, imagine a bucket, it's outside and it's raining really heavily. What might happen to that bucket? The chances are it's gonna overflow. And what we need to think about is how we deal with stresses. So we're filling up with a lot of stress and what's going to happen to us? We might overflow too. And if we do, that's fine. That's okay. And these things might show in kind of changes in, in your behavior. It could be that you feel a little bit out of control with your emotions, or you might not know what emotions that you are feeling. It could be also that you want to spend a little bit more time on your own. And all of these things are okay and that they're valid. However, what we need to make sure is that we know how to deal with these stresses. So how can we make sure that we don't overflow? So before we get to that point of overflowing, what can we do to try and help? So for a real bucket, it's really easy. We drill some holes in the bottom, the water goes in, the water comes out just as quick. So, but for us, we need to think about how we can have those holes and those taps. So what we need to create are these helpful, strategies that are going to help us cope with the stress. Now every time that we feel stressed we want to be practicing those strategies so that each and every time we feel stressed we feel confident about addressing the strength stress. What we need to make sure though is that these uh, coping strategies are helpful and healthy because if not it could pose more issues further down the line. For example comfort eating it might be helpful in the short term and you might feel relief from stress initially. However, the long-term effects of it might not be sustainable. So what could be some helpful strategies? We could think about going for a walk, doing some artwork. We might listen to our favorite band or try out a new skill. For some people, it could be that we write down what makes us stressed and keep a bit of a journal and just keep, just keep a track of that. For other people though, we might use that journal, we might use those notes to talk to somebody and work out whether those stresses are your stresses and whether you need to be stressed about them or whether there's actually something that you can do about them. So thinking back at that exam stress for children and young people, it could be that you put together a timetable before the exam period so that you don't get stressed about what you need to do. Remember, if we're talking about our stresses, to somebody that it is someone that we trust and that we have a positive relationship with. So I hope those, some of those strategies have been helpful and that you have a better understanding about what the stress bucket is. We have some resources on our website, so feel free to use those if you're a young person yourself or whether you're someone uh, supporting a, a young person too.